This is actually kind of a cool product. This is an ASIO keyboard, the KB505U. It is a large print tricolor backlight keyboard. I think that is about as self-explanatory as a keyboard could possibly be. It has a three-year limited warranty with lifetime support by phone, live chat, email, and warranty. Um, that's fascinating. So three-year limited lifetime support warranty. I don't know what that means. Um, let's assume a three-year warranty. Easy to read keys, large print keys to reduce eye strain and promote productivity. Tricolor backlight, select between red, blue, or purple backlight illuminations, and quick access keys, built-in multimedia, and quick access hotkeys. So this is great for people who don't see that well. Like if you have some kind of a visual, uh, visual disability, or I, I don't remember what they call it now. I think it's like differently abled. Um, sorry, I guys, I cannot remember the correct PC term for like a visual impairment. I know it's not correct to say impairment, but I'm sorry. Um, so if you have uh, like a visual inability to see things that are small and hard to see, um, this would be super handy because the backlight is not just necessarily for uh, for use when it's dark, you know, in a gaming scenario. Like I think, there, I think someone told me it was a gaming keyboard. It doesn't look like it's for gaming at all, but I can see how it'd be fine for gaming because, again, you know, having that uh, having that visibility of the keys is certainly something that you know gamers would appreciate. So I'm just going to plug this in so you guys can see it. Um, not only that, but I mean, for someone like my mom who is uh, who's hit that. Uh, that 50 year old mark where she's starting to not be able to see quite as well up close anymore something like this would be really handy for her so I mean she's a touch typist so maybe less for her but especially like for your grandparents or people who who are who are, are getting to be a little bit nearsighted and uh, and they don't necessarily touch type or know the keyboard layout well this kind of thing is awesome because you can much more easily and more quickly find exactly what you're looking for so let's just go ahead and figure out how to ch ah, there we go Oh, nice. There we go. I think the red one's probably the big winner in terms of the like the contrast, the richness of the color, and the uh, and the readability of it. What do you think? Yeah, Slick's sort of nodding in agreement. But I'm sort of his boss, so he kind of has to nod in agreement when I talk about things. Um, so we're going to leave it on red while we have a look at the general layout. So it's a very, very standard looking layout. You got your long shifts, long enter, and long backspace, which is great because if it didn't have that, I'd be very, very sad. You also have a lot of pretty different buttons on this one. So up to here, it's all completely standard. Up to here, insert and del delete are also very standard and is standard. But then we get the indecisive button, the poo button, and the... Um, the uh, postscript button. So this is when you're not finished writing your email and uh, you, you want to press that button to automatically enter down a couple times and type PS. The poo button is actually, there's, there's a smell emitter on the bottom of the board and when you press that button you'll actually get an olfactory sensation that wafts to your nose and will, uh, no I'm just kidding. Okay so uh, this is, um, shoot what is this? Print screen, right, okay. This is scroll lock. This is, uh, shoot, I don't even know what that is. Pause and break, okay? Um, so th this is the part where it gets more confusing than a regular keyboard. Home end, page up, page down, number lock, and other than that, everything is pretty standard. So you got all of your typical media keys, your play pause, back forward, and a stop button, as well as your email, home, and favorites, uh, audio controls, Launching a media player, whatever that does, and oh, launching the calculator app. I love dedicated calculator buttons. That's awesome. I think that pretty much covers it. So inexpensive, backlit, nice big keys, actually has a kind of a nice aesthetic to it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other seizure-inducing videos.